have a very exciting schedule today focused on a lot of things for you to learn about how to take care of yourself and bring home to a win. And we're looking forward to some great speakers as well. It's really special to see everybody here in person, networking with each other, and sitting together and connecting. Um, I was fortunate enough to be involved with the ABTA uh, several years ago because we had a similar conference, a regional conference in Tampa, Florida, that's where I live. And um, in 2020, um, an in-person meeting all of a sudden became a virtual meeting uh, because of the pandemic. And uh, that was the first um, virtual meeting that the ABTA had. And although I think it went very well, um, that meeting taught us a lot about how to connect virtually. I think in the last past several years, we've learned the importance of getting to sit together uh, across from each other and be in person and connect with each other. Um, I think there are a lot of challenges that come with managing uh, a treatment of brain tumors. Uh, as providers, we ask you to do very extraordinary things. Uh, to, to take on therapies that destroy your body, radiation. I ask you to allow me to open up your brain or your spine to operate on it, and I expect you to get up and move around the next day. And more often than not, you do it because you believe uh, in what I have to say, you trust me. Um, and you find the strength to do so uh, because you trust your providers, uh, and also you find strength in your family members, your loved ones, uh, but also I imagine in the community of people that have gone uh, and done this before. And I think this just highlights how important this type of forum is to be able to see people who've gone through similar experiences. Um, so if you haven't done so already, please take this opportunity to introduce yourself to someone you don't know at your table or throughout the conference and uh, continue these connections after the conference. To kick off day two, we have a very special, uh, special message to start with. Hi everyone, my name is Jeannie Gaffigan, and you may know my last name because my husband Jim Gaffigan is a very funny and well-known comedian, but Jim and many others tell me that I am his secret weapon because guess who writes all those funny jokes? Jim does, but I nag him and nag him and nag him until they're really good. So that's my part. But all kidding aside, Jim is a pretty funny guy. I'm pretty funny too, but most importantly, I am a brain tumor survivor and I regret that I cannot be with you all in person at the American Brain Tumor Association National Conference, but I would like to share a message of hope with you. In 2017, I was diagnosed with a choroid plexus papilloma, which is a rare and benign tumor that grows within the choroid plexus, a capillary rich membrane that lines the ventricles of the brain and produces cerebrospinal fluid. Yes, I got all that out. Anyone who has a brain tumor or a caregiver of a brain tumor knows that you have a mini lesson in medical school just with your diagnosis. But anyway, at the time that I was experiencing symptoms, I thought I just had the flu because I was experiencing headaches, uh, fatigue, a persistent cough, difficulty swallowing, and hearing loss, among other symptoms. But this hearing loss eventually inspired me to go to MRI which revealed that I had a tumor the size of a large pear, which is actually my thing now is pears. But after a successful surgery and many challenges over the past six years, I remain grateful to God, to Jim, and to our five children, which is why I can't be here, by the way, with you. Um, and it all inspired me to write a book about my experience called When Life Gives You Pears, The Healing Power of Family, Faith, and Funny People. And I suggest you pick up a copy, but that's not why I'm here to plug my book. No, this is why I'm here. I am going to give you all a little tiny piece of unsolicited advice. Whether you're a patient, a survivor, or a caregiver, you have to learn to take care of yourself before you take care of other people. And I am so happy that you are at the ABTA National Conference because I know that you're taking this advice already. For more than 50 years, the ABTA has served as the champion of the brain tumor community, advocating on your behalf and on my behalf, providing educational support and investing in research to bring a brighter future for all of us. You couldn't be in better hands. Enjoy the national conference. Jim and I hope and pray to be able to attend in person in the future. Does anyone know a good, reliable babysitter? Please. And remember, support the ABTA any way you can to help bring hope to all of us impacted by a brain tumor diagnosis. All the best to you. Bye.
Thank you for coming. Pears.